Members of Parliament Muhammad Segirin of Kawempe North and Alan Sewanyana of Makindia Waste this morning appeared before the Massacre Magistrates Court once again via video conferencing before Chief Magistrate Christine Natige. Honorable Sewanyana and uh, Honorable Segirin, can you hear us? Yes. State Prosecutor Richard Birivumbuka revealed that the state is still gathering evidence to pin the legislators in high court where they will be expected to stand trial. The lawyers of the accused, led by Shamim Malende, after hearing this, they expressed their disappointment with the court accusing the prosecutors of delaying the case intentionally by refusing to give a date when they will conclude the investigations. The state prosecutor was directed to inform court today of the actual committal date. The actual date when he intends to commit both accused persons to high court. Your Worship, we find that the state's response in respect to that is vague when he says that the next adjournment, that at the next adjournment, we shall inform court of the committal date. We find that vague. In response, the prosecution team led by Richard Birivumbuka revealed that on 10th March, all evidence will have been gathered and the MPs will appear in high court for their case hearing. MPs Muhammad Segirin and Alan Sewanyana aired their plight and pain before the court and pleaded for bail. <laughs> Chief Magistrate Nantege then ordered the prosecution to conclude the investigations as soon as possible. You know, mandatory bail is uh, granted at six months when a person is in detention. But the court has declined to grant that order to both of these persons today. Uh, because the six months are just yet to elapse. Because they first appeared in court on 29th, September 2021, and the six months elapsed on 29th, March. Two MPs were first accused of murder, attempted murder, and abating terrorism alongside several other suspects arrested in connection with the last year's spate of killings in Greater Massacre. They were then granted bail but rearrested as they left prisons and slapped with fresh charges. Simon Chris Makanga, CTV, PM Edition.